If the standard narrative of omega-6 are pro-inflammatory was true, what would you have expected to find in your study? We're kind of taking like a photo, except we're doing this using butt samples and urine samples. And if omega-6 were pro-inflammatory, we'd expect to see a pattern where if the higher levels of LA or AA, the levels of these biomarkers would also be high. But then there are other factors that might also affect these levels. We adjusted for quite a few things in the model, and surprisingly, or maybe not so surprisingly, we did not see any positive correlations at all. I mean, it was not only that you didn't see any direct relationship. And, um, and we, what we saw instead was that um, LA was actually inversely associated with CRP, IL-6, ICAM-1, and MCP-1, and P-selectin as well. Weak associations are statistically significant. And I do want to point out that we didn't see any association with the biomarker of oxidative stress. Well, now that's important. One of the stories that gets spun around seed oils is by heating them repeatedly and it oxidizes the seed oil. Beyond just the inflammation, there's oxidation. And the oxidation was not increased by having higher levels of omega-6. 